All right, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to possibly solve your idle issues that you may have on your Dodge or just Chrysler in general 5.2 liter engine. Now this was the particular problem on this car and that was that you would rev it up and then as uh, you snap the throttle closed, it would tend to die. Now this happened particularly often in drive but uh, it happened all the time and as you can see did it right there so first you want to start out by removing this air box on top there's this little clamp on the back side and that's how you get it off then you get sitting on a stud right there uh, you don't you want to be sure you know that's there when you go to pull it off so you don't pull it off the wrong way and break something and then you pull off the air pipe that's on the left side now what you can see I'm doing right here is that I'm using a multimeter to test the leads that uh, come out of the throttle position sensor now you want to have your positive probe on the orange wire and you want to have your black probe on the black wire. Uh, now right now I'm going ahead and I'm going to try to clock the throttle position sensor and to get that off you want to use a T25 Torx. And I, you want to use a multimeter just to see if yours is within spec. And the spec that I read was 1.2 volts. Uh, this one set solidly at 0.75 volts but you can definitely see that from the video and everything I found this out later because someone replaced the throttle position sensor before I got in there that this throttle position sensor was actually upside down so to fix it I actually had to flip it over and put it how it should be now unfortunately for this particular problem whenever I flipped it over it did not solve anything so what I went ahead and did was kind of do diagnostic on the uh, vacuum system and what I found out was the uh, the hose that's right here I took it off it goes to the somewhere in the firewall and I created a vacuum leak and whenever the vacuum leak was induced it ran much better so I suspected idle air control was the issue so I went ahead and asked about the idle air and he said it had been replaced and I asked about cleaning the throttle body and uh, he did not believe that would really do anything but I went ahead and uh, got some carb cleaner and I just had it idling there and sprayed a little bit. You don't want to, if you do this, you don't want to spray a whole bunch because you run the risk of uh, damaging the engine somewhat. I mean, I've never seen anyone do it, but there's always that risk, so I'm going to say there is. But uh, if you spray too much at one time, it will stall the engine, so you just have to go back in and start it back up. But, yeah, so, I mean, this, uh, this actually helped it out quite a bit and whenever you you've solved the problem like I did you go to put this air box back on you're gonna make sure you have that space right there to allow it to sit down otherwise it won't and now you can see that uh, it is actually fixed the idle sits right where it should be whenever it comes back down it doesn't drop to 500 it goes back to like the 700 range from a rev at least it'll go back to 600 ish but you just don't want to see it drop that low right off of a rev. Now, if this video helped you out, go ahead and let me know by leaving a like. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and comment, ask. I'll be happy to help as much as I can. Just let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching.